In this video, we will show you how to use presets. A preset ties a profile to a theater as well as providing up mixer and trigger setting capabilities. Therefore, there are a variety of ways to utilize presets as they can manipulate multiple processor settings with a single command. The first use case for presets is handling multiple profiles or calibrations within a single theater. For example, let's say our theater has a large perforated screen and we have a profile for when the screen is down and we're watching movies and a second profile for when the screen is up and we're listening to music. To handle this change of state in the processor, we can create a second preset. We'll call this preset music. Make sure to always give your presets an appropriate name. Select your theater and allocate the music profile for the music preset. Now when you switch presets, you will switch the calibrated profile. You can also use presets to switch sub-theater configurations. For example, say we have the following 7.2.0.4 theater. There is a TV in the rear next to the dining room table, and we would like to use the speakers surrounding the TV as we are eating dinner. We can create a child of the main theater for the TV dinner mapping. A child, or sub-theater, can be created from a theater while you are editing it. A child allows you to route stereo left, stereo right, or mono to any speaker in the room, while allowing you to also activate the subwoofers if desired. Storm Audio recommends that you create subtheaters after the calibration has been performed, as it will allow you to keep the direct calibration in place for the channels you deploy. For this subtheater, we will route stereo right to the left surround speaker, stereo left to the left rear surround speaker, and activate the nearby subwoofer. Note that for this configuration, because the listening area is the dining room table and not the couch, we would probably want to recalibrate for this subtheater. Now let's say perhaps that we would also like to use the overhead layer for ambient background music. We can create another child of the main theater for the music mapping. For this subtheater, we will route mono to all of the overhead channels as well as activating both subwoofers. You would likely not need to recalibrate this subtheater. Now each of these subtheaters that we have just created has also created its own preset, and we can call those presets to activate those subtheaters. Another use case for presets is to switch active theaters. Just as with subtheaters, each time a new theater is created, it will always generate another preset which can be called to select which theater is active. You can also use a preset to supplement conditional programming. For example, some integrators prefer to create a preset for each different upmixer and call upon them when they wish to activate that upmixer. You can also set a trigger to activate along with a preset. To do so, ensure the trigger is configured properly in the settings landing page. It is also important to note that any audio zone or audio video zone can be activated as a secondary audio zone for each profile. This concludes this video tutorial. Please visit us on our client portal at stormaudio.com for more information and on YouTube for more videos like these.